Welcome to another video in the series Inventory Management. In this video, we will look at another example of fixed order quantity model. However, in this example, we will look at the case of discount in the price per unit based on the quantity that is being ordered. So let's look at the example at hand. A chemical firm buys 2500 units annually of a particular item from a vendor at a cost of INR 3 per unit. It has now received a revised price schedule from the vendor which is as given below and we have to determine the economic order quantity. So let us first note down what has been given to us. So we have been given the annual demand. So annual demand which is denoted as capital D is 2500 units for this particular item. Now we have been given that the cost is INR rupees 3 per unit. So if you look at this table what they have given is if the quantity is less than 500 units the price is INR 3 or 3 rupees. If the quantity that is being ordered is between 500 and 1250 units then the price per unit is 2.9 rupees and if it is 1250 or more then it is 2.85. So as the quantity per order increases the price per unit is reducing. So this is also called price breaks. Now in addition to this price per unit which we will denote as capital C. So what we have also been given is ordering cost. So per order there is some cost which is incurred by the buying organization. So that they have given as 25 rupees per order. So this we will denote as capital S and the inventory carrying cost is 20% of the average inventory investment. So the investment is nothing but the price per unit. So what we will denote this is I that is the inventory carrying cost. So now we have to find out what is the best quantity that should be ordered based on this information provided. So let us first look at step number one in such cases. So step number one is calculate economic order quantity at each price level. So we have been given three prices. So we have to calculate the economic order quantity at each price level. So what this will give us is at this price and we have already been given the ordering cost and the carrying cost. What is the optimal or the most economic order quantity that should be placed? So we know the formula for EOQ. So that is under root 2 into D into S divided by I into C. So this will be equal to square root of 2 into 2500 into 25 because ordering cost is 25 here S divided by I which is 0.2 multiplied by 3 which is your unit cost. So this will be equal to 456.4 so we'll round it up to 456 units. So at the unit price of rupees 3 the economic order quantity is 456 units. Now let's do the same calculation for 2.9 and 2.85. So this turns out to be 464 units. And now the EOQ at 
2.85 so this comes out to be 468 units now if we look at what has been given to us at rupees 3 we can buy quantity less than 500 units at rupees 2.9 we can buy quantity between 500 and 1250 and at rupees 2.85 we can buy quantity of 1250 or more now what we are getting is that for the first one less than 500 the economic order quantity at rupees 3 is 465 which is matching what has been given so 465 is less than 500 for the price of 2.9 we have to buy between 500 and 1250 units whereas the economic order quantity is coming as 464 which is not in this range and similarly 468 is not in the range 1250 or more so now comes our second step so the second step is determine the quantity to be purchased at each price level which either equals the economic order quantity if it is meeting the range or the lower price bake quantity so what this means is let's say we say we put another column here it says quantity to be purchased so in this case less than 500 units so this is meeting the criteria so it will be 456 in the second case this is lower than the range 464 is lower than the range 500 and 1250 so here we will choose the lower range which is 500 and in the third one again 468 is not in this range so we'll choose the lower number which will be 1250 so this is the quantity to be purchased for each of these price levels so with this we will now move to the third step so the third step is calculate the annual total cost at the quantities fixed under step 2 so the quantities fixed under step 2 are these so now we have to calculate the total cost now we know that the total annual cost is equal to the total annual purchase cost plus the annual ordering cost plus the annual holding cost so let us note down the formula and calculate one by one so for the quantity at price 3 the total cost is 2500 into 3 because 3 is the unit price plus 2500 divided by 456 because 456 is the quantity that we determined we will be purchasing at this range multiply by 25 because 25 is the ordering cost plus q which is 456 divided by 2 into 0 0.2 which is the carrying cost multiply by 3 which is the unit price so let's calculate this so this comes out to be 7774 INR so 7774 INR now similarly let's calculate for the other two so total cost at 2.9 so this will be instead of 3 we will now have 2.9 and the Q which was earlier 456 now becomes 500 because that is what we decided here so let's find this out so this comes out to be 7520 INR now let's do the same thing for 2.85 so again the same thing the C changes which now becomes 2.85 here and here and Q changes which now becomes uh, 1250 so this changes here as well as here 
so let's find out so this comes out to be 7531 INR so the interesting thing that I noted here this 356 became pretty high and that is primarily because the quantity here that will go into your inventory and the inventory holding cost becomes very high so this at 2.9 is actually lower than this one at uh, 2.85 so now let's move to step number four so step number four is select the optimal purchase quantity and the optimal purchase quantity will be the one which has the lowest total cost which in this case is 7520 so the optimal purchase quantity is 500 so so the quantity is 500 units and this is being purchased at the price of 2.9 INR so finally the quantity or the optimal quantity is 500 units and being purchased at a price of 2.9 INR